And I almost feel, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I feel stupid talking about this. Should we be afraid of this AI? And I have to go back in history and see what we've been afraid of. In the, in the late 1800s, we were afraid of bicycles because we thought that unmarried women would be able to go to other villages without even asking. And then we created this condition known as bike face. Bike face would occur when women would ride their bikes and they would be squeezing on their bikes hard and they would be get their wrinkles on their face and bags under their eyes. And we called this bike face. We were afraid of bicycles. In the late 1800s as well, the New York Times, the New York Times said that telephones would destroy concert halls, that everybody would just listen to music through their telephones, would destroy concert halls. In the early 1900s, we said that radio waves would kill humans. When the television came out, we said that people would become dumber. And of course, they're, they were not wrong on that one. They were actually, <laughs> that was, but what are we afraid of here? Last year, these AI researchers, they did, the, they did the study. They polled the best AI researchers around the world. And 50% of them said that there's a 10% chance that this ends up poorly for humans. We're gonna get what I call also an age of infinite hell. <laughs> Hyper sophisticated blackmail, ex exponential scams, deep fakes everywhere, synthetic relationships, automated lobbying. And of course I'm concerned about this. I think about my mother. My mother is in her 70s. And of course she gets calls all the time from CRA, people wanna grab her social insurance number. And I'm thinking about this. Because as somebody who's a little bit more public, you know, I have hundreds of videos across YouTube and LinkedIn and TikTok and Facebook and other places. Somebody could easily model my voice and my face and call my mom and say, hey, can you, can you transfer 50K into this other place? Of course I'm concerned. 